Welcome to another serving session. I'm Adam, and today I'd like to show you what is probably one of my best serves, at least it's the one that seems to give people the most problems. Uh, it is nothing special at all. However, there is a certain degree of deceptiveness that I think uh, makes it an advantageous serve. So I'd like to just show you, show you what is so deceptive about this serve. The serve I'd like to show is basically the short side spin serve. It's a backhand serve and you can vary either it being short and under or short and topspin. Uh, what happens is if people don't recognize how much underspin is on the ball, as they reach forward to get it, it will go into the net. And of course, if they misread uh, that when it is topspin, then the ball pops up and you can easily kill it. So I will demonstrate these two uh, strokes and we'll look at specifically how it's done. There is, uh, you'll see the professionals do this all the time, especially when they get in trouble. Uh, they will resort to one of these simple backhand serves because it's, it's easy to do and then you don't have to think about it, you just have to think about what happens next. So, uh, one of the key things that I'll show you right now is that for this serve, in terms of it being not the spinniest, but the most deceptive, is you will want to keep basically, for both variations, the same blade angle. This blade angle here. It is looking like basically an underspin type blade angle. If you go forward, uh, you will make underspin, of course. But for this stroke, what you're going to do is decide between coming to the side of the ball like this. Notice how the angle is still here. You come with the side of the ball only, and that is going to result in topspin. Or, as you brush the ball, you actually go forward just a little bit. Did you see how much I went forward? I only go forward about half of a blade of the paddle's width here. So it's that same stroke with a little bit of forward, that much, that much. It's really hard to show, it's so subtle, which is why it's so deceptive. Maybe I should go like this. So I'm going this much. Instead of this, I go forward that much. And that's enough underspin to make this a very challenging serve to receive. So let me show you what it looks like on the table. It will be a double bounce, a, a short serve that generally drifts over to the forehand side. Uh, and that will allow for a couple of things because of the spin, it almost guarantees that the return um, is going to be towards the forehand, especially if it's an error, instead of very powerfully down the backhand line. Here's what it looks like. Let me show you a series of underspin serves. They look like this. Remember the blade angle needs to look like it is underspin. In this case, it actually is. You'll notice how I kind of jerk my elbow backwards. This um, has a deceptiveness to it because I'm really not going forward what looks like a, a typical underspin shot. And with this same motion, I can generate the top spin. Let's look at a few more underspins. And now, let's see what topspin looks like. Again, same blade angle. And as you contact the ball, it's going to turn just a little bit. And then you just bring the arm back with no forward motion at all. That is a topspin ball. That's a very good top spin ball.
So I'll do a series of five of these serves, and you can determine, you can see if you can detect which they are, if they are underspin or topspin. Watch carefully. Okay, were you able to tell? So we had underspin, topspin, topspin, underspin, underspin. That was the variation in those particular serves. And I hope that you were able to see the difference between them. The key, again, is this small forwardness that allows for the underspin as you bring the arm back compared to no forward underneath the ball at all, just graze the back of the ball from the fall, and that will generate the top spin. There are a couple of very powerful variations of this serve. Being able to go down the line with it is one variation, both with underspin and top spin. The other, and this one's a real big secret, is to be able to place the ball right about here. This, again, for someone that is in the corner, is extremely hard to get, both with an underspin and a topspin ball. Although it comes off the table, it's still pretty difficult to get to. So let's see how short I can make it. I will put a, a marker here. And if I'm able to land it in this area, I think you will agree that that is a challenging surge. like that. Missed the last. But there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about the uh, very deceptive side spin serve. And uh, you can utilize this in your game. The key, again, is to keep this constant play angle and not give away whether you go that small motion forward or you just brush the back of the ball for the top spin. Thank you very much.